which I represent, Imo East Senatorial District. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, permit me to lead the debate on this very important bill titled the Police Act Amendment Bill 2019. This bill was read for the first time in this hallowed chamber on the 10th of October 2019. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, this bill seeks to amend the Police Act Cap P19, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, by expunging the gender discriminatory provisions of the regulations 122, 123, 124, and 127. Essentially, this bill seeks to expunge the provisions of regulation 122, 123, 124, and 127 from the principal act for the following reasons. One, regulation 122 restricts female police officers assigned to the general duty branch of the MPF to telephone clerical and office orderly duties. B, regulation 123 prohibits women police from drilling on the arms. C, regulation 124 mandates female police officers to apply for permission to marry, while the intending fiancé is also investigated for criminal records. It also stipulates that a policewoman who is single at the time of her enlistment must spend three years in service before applying for permission to marry. D, regulation 127 prescribes discriminatory treatment of an unmarried police officer who becomes pregnant. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the Nigerian police force as established in section 214 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has the mandate to ensure the internal security of the country. Section 4 of the Police Act 2004 enumerates the duties of the police to include, among other things, prevention and detection of crime, apprehension of offenders, preservation of law and order, protection of life and property, due enforcement of law and regulation with which they are directly charged, and performance of such military duties within or without Nigeria as may be required by them or under the authority of this or any other act. However, an analysis of the police act and other regulatory policy document governing the internal and external workings of the Nigerian police force reveals a preponderance of discriminatory regulations and workplace practices that reinforce gender discrimination. The examination of gender issues cover various spheres of policy and practice ranging from language, recruitment, training, posting to marriage, pregnancy, and childbearing. Many of the police regulations, particularly regulation 122, 123, 124, and 127, are overtly discriminatory to female police officers. Specifically, the current regulation states that one, two, to employment of women police in offices. Women police officers recruited to the general duty branch of the force may, in order to relieve male police officers from these duties, be employed in any of the following office duties, namely clerical duties, telephone duties, office orderly duties, women police, not to drill under arms. A woman police officer shall not be called upon to drill under arms or take part in any batting or riot exercise. Women police to apply for permission to marry. A woman police officer who is desirous of marrying must first apply in writing to the commissioner of police for the state police command in which he is serving, requesting permission to marry and giving the name, address, occupation of the person she intends to marry. Permission will be granted for the marriage if the intended husband is of good character and the woman police officer has served in the force for a period of not less than three years. Pregnancy of unmarried women police. An unmarried woman police officer who becomes pregnant shall be discharged from the force and shall not be reenlisted except with the approval of the Inspector General. The above regulations of the Police Act were enacted in 1968 at a time when the societal attitude to women in the workplace was very different from what it is today. This is more so as there is no rational justification for the imposition of this discriminatory provision since they do not in any way and manner promote the efficiency or discipline 
of the female police officer. And today, women occupy very senior roles in the police and have shown themselves to be just as competent as, and as disciplined as their male counterparts, or even more. Since a male police officer is not subjected to the same inhibitions, the current regulations are inconsistent <laughs> with sections 42 of the Constitution and Article 2 of the African Charter of Human and People's Rights, which have prohibited discrimination on the basis of sex. There is therefore a need to expunge the above regulations, and it is not reasonably justifiable in a democratic state like Nigeria, which has domesticated the African Charter on Human and People's Rights and ratified the protocol to the African Charter on Human and People's Rights on the rights of women in Africa and the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, relying on the provisions of the Constitution, the African Charter, and the principles of equity, good conscience, a move should be made for the discriminatory provisions of the Police Act <coughs> and regulation to be expunged. I therefore humbly urge my distinguished colleagues to support the second reading of this bill. I so submit.